Whenever my mind turns towards alcohol, I try and think of something different, which is not always easy, of course. But since I joined this platform and got sober, thanks to you, thank you very much, I taught myself how to make loads of things. And most of you have seen some of my jewellery work from scrap metals I find metal detecting. But today is something different because I found some old brass shells of various sizes and I thought, wouldn't it be a good idea to try and make a dog whistle? So I started with the old 2-2 cartridge and I was just cutting a little piece off the end, taking half away, leaving half on like this. This is going to be the reed. Well, it's not really a reed, is it? But the bit usually that's inside the whistle. And getting it just right is not that easy. And it's key that you spend some time with this piece. Now, I'm pleased to say I'm over a thousand days sober now, which means I've been on this platform for over a thousand days. And I remember my first few videos. I didn't think anyone would be interested in an old bloke trying to get sober. In fact, I think I was one of the original ones that came here to say, I need to get sober after 50 years of drinking and you followed me in your tens and now hundreds of thousands. So thank you for that. But you know, every now and again, triggers come along where you think, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a drink? And it's just much easier to find something else to do. Now, after this piece has been done and you've sanded it and it's really nice and smooth, I just prepare the other piece, which is a 0.233 shell. I've been told by many of you that you like to watch me make things like this, but I've never actually done this before, so I don't know if it's going to work. I know the theory is right and that it should work. So it's all sanded off. It's all filed. I now need to make sure it's completely clean before we solder these two pieces together. You have to make sure they're really, really clean. This doesn't really work with a soldering iron. You need to use the torch method with a flame. And now that's done, I just need to tidy it all up and give it a polish. Oh, by the way, I'm running out of rubber gloves, which people keep buying for me off my Amazon wish list in the link in my profile. I really could do with some more, like these blue ones. And now for the magical bit, polishing it all up, and then I'm going to gold plate it. First, I've got to chemically clean it, and then I'm going to cover it in palladium, which you can see that lovely palladium colour look, and then in the 24 karat gold for five minutes, and the gold plating is now finished. Lovely! But will it blow? Yes, it does!